Hello everyone and welcome to another Royal Reading. It is a Friday afternoon, although to me it feels like a Saturday. I have spent the whole day thinking it's Saturday. Very weird. Anyway, it's a Friday afternoon and a Tom Bowers book is still the topic of conversation where everyone goes if one is interested in the Harkles and the Royals in general. Um, I'm looking today at two stories uh, involving women really, uh, women backers, female backers of the Harkles. And the first story that I'm looking at is the one about the mysterious American billionaires who allegedly was lined up right at the very beginning of the royal romance, uh, willing to bankroll Harry and Meghan on their departure from the royal and family, encouraging the departure. And uh, in, in no names mentioned, but candidates that have uh, popped up, of course, Oprah, Wallace Annenberg and Laureen Jobs, who I mistakenly called Jolene Jobs yesterday in a reading. I have the Tarot of Curious Creatures out on the tarot table this afternoon. I'm going to be doing a reading, having a look at those three and seeing who of them was likely the backer, allegedly the backer, or speculation, or tarot reading for entertainment purposes, or just my opinion. Disclaimer in the box below, of course. Tarot of Curious Creatures, I'm going to do a reading. See, uh, was it Oprah? Was Oprah the one? We know all about Oprah, of course. Wallace Annenberg, more of a mystery. Um, she was seen, she was papped with Prince Harry at the San Vicente Bungalows Club in West Hollywood. I hope I got that right. But straight after Prince Philip's funeral, in fact, on the day of Queen Elizabeth II's birthday, very sorrowful birthday, straight after Prince Philip's funeral last year, Harry didn't stick around in the UK. He hopped onto that private jet and flew straight back to California because there was a lunch lined up with Wallace Annenberg, philanthropist, extremely wealthy woman. Um, and she's been fingered by some as a possible candidate for being Harry and Meghan's backer, although other people say, no, no, it could never possibly be. Uh, she's a big fan of the royal families. And uh, so why would she help uh, a, pair, a duplicitous pair basically in their betrayal of the royal family? Remember, all my opinion. So that's Wallace. And then the third candidate is Laureen Jobs. And uh, she also very, very wealthy, also very involved in charitable engagements, enterprises. She has a production company, as far as I understand it, Gimlet. And they are the ones involved in producing Megan's podcast for Spotify, the mysteriously absent podcast for Spotify. They're the ones who are doing the hiring for um, Meghan Markle uh, for help in producing the uh, podcasts for Spotify. So she has got a connection to the Harcourt that is um, a traceable connection, uh, a genuine connection. So all of them in various ways have been seen out and about with the Harcourt or no, it's a known quantity. Yes, they're involved with the Harcourt. So I'm going to ask the cards. We're going to look at them. I'm going to do two cards for each. We're going to look at them and see, yeah, we're ready to go. See um, whether they were the actual backer. We'll start with Oprah, then we'll do Wallace Annenberg, and then we'll do Laureen Jobs and see what the relationship with the Harkles is now. We know that Oprah is a little bit annoyed, to put it mildly, at the way things have gone. I did a reading on Oprah yesterday and in connection with Tom Bauer's book and how Oprah might be feeling not pleased. Um, allegedly, Wallace Annenberg are fairly annoyed at being papped at a very private, very secretive, very exclusive club. Didn't expect it, didn't like it, was not what she anticipated when she agreed to that luncheon. And uh, so maybe not the biggest fan. Laureen Jobs, don't know. I personally don't know anything about her and her connection with the Harkles in particular. So she's a mystery candidate to me. I know their star signs. I looked them all up. We have an Aquarius, that's Oprah. We have a Cancerian, that's Wallace Annenberg. And we have a Scorpio, that is Laureen Jobs. So let's have a look. Let's see. An interesting card has come out as the underlying energy of this reading. The Magician but it's come out in reverse. The magician, of course, is the power behind the throne, the one who uh, makes fetch happen, uh, has all the 
the tools. You can see it has the sword, has the pentacles, has the cups, has the wands, all those attributes, all that potential, all those possibilities. And uh, waves the wand, clicks heels, does whatever, and things manifest. Stuff happens. The power behind this throne, it's come out in reverse. When, it, when the magician is in reverse, it's a particularly sneaky energy. It's a trickster energy. It is literally behind the green curtain. There is the Wizard of Oz. That is the magician. So it has literally come out very loudly, this tarot of curious creatures, and said, yes, there is somebody behind the scenes who is, I don't have any way to put it, so we just throw it over there. Somebody behind the scenes who is puppet master, who is pulling the strings, who has all these resources available and has put all these resources at the disposal of the Harcourts in order to do something that is not very honourable and not very upright because the card is in the reverse. It's the trickster. It is doing something that is somewhat dishonourable. My opinion, speculation. Let's just put big speculation, imaginary speculation all over this reading. So heart of the matter, we already have the magician card that's come out. Heart of the matter is the queen of pentacles. That's a backer. Big money card. Uh, there she is holding her pentacles, clutching her pentacles to her. Um, very stable, a very loyal, very supportive energy, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, she's flush with cash. Um, she's very generous. She's very kind. Uh, she's very warm. Uh, she's a good wife card often, which is interesting, but a very powerful female energy and very wealthy, very abundant, but very generous, very kind hearted. And definitely somebody who set out, um, not from the purest motives because we have the magician in the reverse, but somebody who has the cash to splash and was willing to splash it. So we have absolute confirmation that this reading is on, on target, shall we say. And this first row here is Oprah Winfrey. Oprah, was she the backer? Was she the big, the big money card? Seven of Wands in reverse. If she was, it didn't turn out the way she thought it was going to uh, because the seven of wands is about being able to defend something but be a position um, taking the high ground but ending up in, an, in a situation where you're very vulnerable and whatever you've done is indefensible it's kind of given me the answer to the next question already it doesn't come out with big money it doesn't come out with um, yeah I'm going to bankroll you it's quite interesting it's uh, it's not backer energy. It's more being backed into a corner that is tricky. And that is what has literally happened to Oprah. Uh, she, she bit off more than she could chew with her heart calls. She ended up with egg all over her face. I'm mixing metaphors terribly, but it didn't turn out very well for her. And she has ended up pulling the interview from the net wherever she could pull it. Uh, she has, by all accounts, uh, not seeing them. She made it very obvious that she wasn't home when the Harcourts pretended they were visiting her. And I got a big card telling me that she had withdrawn her financial support from the Harcourts in the reading I did yesterday. And um, so it's not big money. It's, it's, not a, it's not a big loud yes for me. It's more telling me that she ended up in trouble with the Harcourts. But uh, where is she now with them? Where is she now with them? She's freed herself from them. Nine of Pentacles is a card of liberation. Going it alone, being independent. I'm not I'm not part of this deal anymore. Don't want to be part of this deal anymore. I'm great. I've got my own money. I've got my own resources, my own assets. Don't need you. Um, I'm going to stroll around in the garden here by myself and enjoy myself in my fine clothes and uh, don't need you. So she has broken free. She has cut them free and she has broken herself free. This card is not telling me at all that she was the backer. I'm quite surprised because she was the most obvious one and she certainly helped them out with her connections with Tyler Perry, all the rest of it. Um, put together a little thing for um, has been on Apple TV about mental health, of course did the interview, all the rest of it. So it doesn't look like it's Oprah, despite all the help, that very um, tangible help that she gave them that ended up putting her in a very difficult place position that she couldn't honestly defend so Wallace Annenberg how about Wallace Annenberg was she the big money behind the scenes Wallace Annenberg four of cups also getting if she was getting a sense of regret about it not getting big money four of cups is when it's upright is um, being uh, 
just engaged, being apathetic about something, being bored, listless. No, nah, don't really. I'm not really into it. Um, and then afterwards, because when the card is in the reverse, the card in the reverse is, oh, um, now I regret that. I regret turning that down. I regret pushing that away. Um, there is an element of remorse in it. Um, wishing to have an opportunity over again. But more to my mind, this card in the reverse, the Four of Cups in reverse, tells me that there is some degree of regret about what went on. And that if she could have her, her chance again, she would do things differently. That's, that's basically what the Four of Cups says in reverse. Uh, it's a bit of a weird card, the Four of Cups, quite honestly, and particularly when it's in reverse. But it, that's not a big pentacles card. That's not coming out and saying, oh, yes, um, I, I, I'm so happy to help out. And um, how does she feel now about the Harkles, her engagement with the Harkles? Where is it led to now? The Hierophant in reverse. And that is, of course, the royal family, but the royal family that has been undermined and broken by the Harkles, well, attempted, they attempted to break the royal family by um, running away, by abusing them, by um, all those terrible tell-all things that they've done. She doesn't like it at all. She doesn't like the, the effect that they've had on the royal family at all. And I did say in my preamble that Wallace Annenberg is known to be a supporter of the royal family, has good connections, good relationships, I think, with Prince Charles in particular. Um, could be wrong there, and apologies if I am. But no, she she's not king. She's not king on the Harkles. Oprah got herself into trouble and got herself out of trouble. Wallace Annenberg perhaps regrets the way things went and particularly regrets the way things have ended up for the royal family, doesn't like it. They've been dishonoured. Um, Harkles have taken the low road there because the Hierophant is about doing the right thing, being ethical, learning your lessons, ascending, rising up when the card is in the upright position. In the reverse, it's doing the wrong thing, not learning your lessons, being a bit sneaky, breaking things, not playing by the rules, not honouring the hierarchy and the status quo and all the rest of it. She does not. She's not a fan. She's definitely not a fan. I haven't seen a pentacle here. I haven't seen one. I've seen a pentacle there with the magician in the reverse. And uh, the queen of pentacles over here, of course, has got plenty of pentacles. That's an earth sign woman. Uh, we're not finding anyone here that's an earth sign woman that um, is, is likely. That was the overall energy. That was the situation. That's the descriptor for the um, what's going on, for the fact that they had a backer, according to Tom Bauer. So uh, we haven't found one yet. How about Laureen Job? Is she hiding secretly? She's a Scorpio. Is she the big? Is she the big help out? Knight of Pentacles in reverse is a Prince Harry card. Uh, is the Earth sign Prince with the Earth sign Prince in the reverse? Um, there he is. He's got his pony, his polo pony. Uh, but it's a, it's a card of very slow progress when it's upright. Um, a dim-witted prince also, it's become that for Prince Harry. Very slow progress, slow but steady progress, but it's in reverse. And when it's in reverse, it's no progress. The progress has stopped. The support has stopped. Um, the, the person that is um, involved in, in this situation is, is, is now disengaged, doesn't want to be involved. And I've got it for all three of them. All three of them, if they were, have withdrawn, have ended up not not um, not believing in the cause, not liking the Harkles. I haven't I haven't got to the outcome with her, but I'm just um, summing up these top cards, which is way back when really, and were they the backer? Did they were they the ones that decided they wanted to put their money into the situation? And here, no, she's taken her money out. If she had her money on the table, she put it back in her purse, in her wallet. And said, no, I'm not, I'm not signing that deal because I don't think you are honourable. I don't think you are loyal. I don't think you're steadfast. I don't think you are reliable and responsible. That's what the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. It's uh, not responsible. It's not reliable. It's not steadfast. It doesn't get where it wants to go. And she saw that. She saw that pretty early on. Just like Wallace Annenberg thought, oops. Um, I regret and I would like to have a do-over with this, don't like the choice I've made. And Oprah was like, oh no, I've got myself into a tricky situation now with the Harkles. All of them, all of them saw it 
How is the relationship now with Laureen Jobs and the Harcourts? We know, as I say, she is involved somehow in the Spotify podcast, so she seems still to be connected. <laughs> She's out of there. <laughs> She's gone with the Seven of Swords. It's actually turning out to be quite a funny reading. I didn't expect it to be. Uh, with the Seven of Swords, it's a sneaking away. Uh, you can see she's sneaking off with that bird in the gilded cage, taking, uh, and, and I'm not for one second uh, insinuating that she's doing anything illegal, but it is the card of ghosting people, of disappearing in the night. Uh, normally, because you've taken something that isn't rightfully yours, and I'm absolutely not saying for one second that Laureen Jobs has taken anything away from the Harkles that isn't rightfully hers, but she definitely has disappeared. I would say that if Megan Fo phones, um, her, her, her calls are blocked or go straight to voicemail or something. She cannot reach Laureen Jobs. The, the, the contact has been broken. Oprah made her getaway. Wallace Annenberger really has absolute disdain for the Harkles and what they have done to the royal family. And Laureen Jobs has snuck away under cover of darkness. The Scorpio has disappeared. I have no idea. I'm, I'm no clearer at the end of this reading of who, as to who the person was. Um, and it's quite weird. Um, the outcome card, the outcome card, just to finish this bit of the reading, um, is where are we now? And we've seen with all of them that they've all disengaged from the Harcourts. We get the High Priestess, that's no surprise. That's the Silence card and the Secrets. And uh, no speaks. Somebody who knows something, who knows an awful lot, but it's Major Arcana, the High Priestess, always knows an awful lot, but chooses, um, is, 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 is very discreet about what they reveal. We have two magic cards here. We have the Magician, which comes out, and it came out in reverse, as the underlying energy. It's a, a Gemini energy, the Magician. It's Mercury. It's come out in reverse, that sneaky energy, the trickster, the puppet master, the kingmaker, whoever, the power behind the throne. And uh, it's a magical card. And the High Priestess is also a magical card. It's a person who knows magic, who knows potions, who knows powerful things, who knows secrets, who knows the, the passwords and the keywords and how to access the higher realms and do all those kinds of things. It's that level of secrecy and mystery, the High Priestess, and it's ended with that level of secrecy and mystery. Very, very strange. I'm going to just ask Universe if our Universe will give us a clearer answer because it hasn't, it literally hasn't given us an answer. And then it's given us the mystery card as the outcome. That whoever is, is this person is going to take the secret with them. I would say to the grave. But just asking Universe, can you give us a bit of a clue? I know the star signs are these ladies, these three ladies. If it's one of them, give us a clue. Please, if you want to. If you don't want to, you'll give me some nonsense card and then we call it quits. But it's not often I do a reading like this and it's just uh, clear as mud. I know that the ladies uh, are no fans of the Harcourts. We got that. I'm going to give it one more shuffle. And then if Universe doesn't want to give me this answer, I will respect that. And we have a card. We have a card. And we have, <laughs> we have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, it's really... It's really not going to give me an answer. It's not going to give me an answer. Uh, it's it, none of those. None of those um, comes to me with that card. The only one that it could be uh, interesting um, because it's a lucky, lucky card. It, it, it's a kind of a lucky, almost like a lucky inheritance card. The Wheel of Fortune. Um, and it could just be, it could just be that uh, it's Wallace Annenberg because of um, the regret, the, the, the regret that is indicated up here um, and the fact that she inherited all this money. This was um, money that came allegedly from gambling and uh, such things, not... Oprah's money, Oprah's money came from her media involvement. Uh, her money, she made it. Laureen Jobs, obviously, money came from um, her very famous husband. This is money that possibly came from uh, 
gambling and so on. So we may have a clue there from universe. It's a very cryptic clue with the Wheel of Fortune. Very, very cryptic uh, clue that that could be, could be the, um, the person in question could be Wallace Annenberg. That money that came from um, tainted sources, tainted sources and um, now she's trying to um, recycle it almost and put it into something that she thought maybe would be uh, beneficial somehow but um, ultimately did not turn out to be. So that is the reading, the rather strange reading and uh, there it is, that's what it is. Thank you as ever for watching and I'll see you on the next one.